Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are trying to find angles, unknown angles in a right angle triangle using trigonometric ratios. Look at this example here where we have two triangles, right angle triangles. At the end of the day, we do need to find this angle BAD, which is here. And I realized that that particular right angle triangle only has one unknown side. So we need another side, you know. So it will be good if, if, if we have this side, which is given already, and the length BD, then we will be able to tap on the trigonometric ratio. The next question you need to ask yourself is, can I then find that length BD? And the answer is yes, because I could look at this triangle here. And what do you think I could do? Yes, we learned previously that we could tap on our knowledge of Pythagoras theorem which states that the, hypo the longer sides, hypotenuse, when I square it, it is actually equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. In this case, 5 and 7. I square them before I add them up. And so from here, I will be able to get my BD. But do take note that this square root will give me a lot of decimal. So, to get the best and most accurate answer, I'm going to write it as a square root first. Then, I'm going to channel my efforts to this blue color triangle. And if you are not very good at separating or looking at two particular triangles, this is my suggestion. You could actually redraw this triangle. Just do a sketch like what Mr. Tan is doing now. Right angle is here. The angle that we want to find is here. We've got side 11 and we have just found out that the side BD is square root 74. And it is at this point we could tap on our knowledge of Toa Kaso. angle is here that we are trying to find and therefore with respect to this angle this will be my hypo the longer side hypotenuse and this will be my opposite side since it did not touch the angle bad and it is opposite of it oh h which of the three trigonometric ratios should we use? Brilliant! Bingo! You've got it! Sine. So therefore, sine of the angle BAD that we are trying to find is equals to opposite, which is square root 74, divided by my hypotenuse 11. And in order to get the angle BAD, I will have to tap on sine inverse. And now I will then have to key in this into my calculator. Do take note. At this point, when you use your calculator, make sure it is in degree mode since this whole question is in degree. And you should get the following answer. 51.447 When I leave my answer to 3 decimal place and final answer to be in 1 decimal place, 51.4 degrees. 
with that we have come to the end of this video so if you like this video do give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and have a nice day